Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here. Coming to you a video about this new vehicle I got in the, my group. It's a 1987 Polaris Cyclone 250 two stroke. Automatic with the uh, belt driven. Yeah, it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, as you can see, I've been cleaning up the area, getting stuff organized. Got these three quads here. In here, just a little bit of a mess. As you can see, last time I broke the axle in the 6x4 six by, six by tractor, so got to replace that. But what I got for the quad is I traded my Murray tractor for this quad. This quad didn't run, so I. Uh, uh, the cover was, I took the cover off and it was filled with dog food, so I cleaned all that out, make it button it all up. The flywheel, the timing was off because the flywheel keel keys uh, sheared off, so I took that part and I put a new one. This is the uh, got revert that forward, neutral, and the very top one in reverse. I changed diff through, through it, the differential fluid is right there. It was milky colored. This thing on the rears, it got some nice 22 inch mud lights made by ITP. The 11 by 10s. And on the front, a 23 by 8 by 10s. So they're nice, they're a nice size tire on the front. And I looked it up, I thought the thing, the rake on the front, like the angle, but that the stock angle, so. Yeah, it got front brakes, the rear brake is missing. There's nothing there, and so won't be, this supposed to be something on the shaft. I made this bracket up here, the bolt to the case to make it more stable. Because only three bolts holding the whole uh, differential on. No, I mean the uh, gear the box. On the back, it did a basic tube with two bands in it, chain driven. Chain on this side instead of this side because the uh, gearbox. Yeah, that nice wide axle. Those ITPs are pretty good. Got a nice little storage box here. I also I got this rear rack so you can put a gas tank or a little repair kit or something. Fishing tackle box. But yeah, this thing's run great. I gotta get a light bulb for it, but in that, yeah. All we do got a key on and off choke. Right now I'm running uh, 40 to 1 gas in it. This is a two stroke. You mix it in, I mix it in the tank because the original oil tank, I don't like doing that. It was all corroded. Plus, uh, if something fails in that little pump, then uh, your engine don't get no oil and then it fries it. Under the seat, I just got a little tool kit right there. And there's the air box, and it goes into the tight uh, tube, and it goes up by the handlebars. So yeah, I'll fire this thing up for you guys, and you'll see. It's a good runner. The cold start, no choke or anything. Make sure the fuel is on. So let go take it out for a rip.
So, I'm gonna do a little speed run. See how fast this thing can go. I think the stock speed is 35 miles per hour. So we're gonna do a little uh, speed test. So there we go. I got it set up. I'm gonna fold in my pocket and fire the thing up and it see how fast it go. Our top uh, speed, it was uh, kicking back. There we go. If I, I hope you guys can see it out. Flip around here and see if you can. Yeah, it did 50 miles per hour. So that's pretty, pretty good. Let's see if we can do it again. Uh, reset. Yes. Okay, I've reset it. So I'm going to put it back in the pocket again and we're going to turn around and do it again. Make sure I do a 50, exactly. Okay, this time I got 42 miles per hour. If you can see. Okay. So we're going to reset one more time. We got zero. Do one more time down here and then yeah. It says 47 miles per hour. The wind switched on me and I felt it pushing me a little bit. But 47 for stock gearing is pretty good. As you can see, yeah, it's stock gearing. I could put a bigger one on the motor, on the on the differential. On the yeah. But yeah.
there we go. A nice little quad ride and machine van great. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.